<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Murder by Numbers. Man, last time we left off, I'm not exactly sure what happened because it's been about... Oh man, like a week and a half or something since I played? I've been playing Dragon Quest XI on my own time for like, for my own sake, and um... I was playing that game on and off for like the past month and a half, and I finally beat it after like an hour, or, oh, what, 120 hours! So, uh, I forgot about everything else I was doing in terms of recording, and I'm pretty much, I think we're taught, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Fran about, see if she knows anything else that may have happened, like why... Oh man, what was the victim's name again? Oscar? Oliver? Ah, oh, it's been that long. Anyway, let's just question her. What can I get you, dear? Oh, right. I went to bartender mode for a second there. When we were talking earlier, you mentioned something about Roz? The one mentioned in Oliver's diary? Oh, yes, right. Well, I was hoping not to bring her into this, but... Roz Moses is one of our regular performers here. She runs a couple of nights a week. She and Oliver, they knew each other. Oh, how did Roz and Oliver know each other? Like I said, Roz runs quite a few nights here, and Oliver was a regular. One of the last entries in Oliver's diary read, She doesn't understand me. Despite everything she hid from me, I'm the one that ends up in the cold. Well, they always seem to get on fine. I'd often see Oliver talking to her at the end of the night. But then a few nights ago, they had a huge argument. Things turned nasty, and Roz threw Oliver out. Made me ban him from the premises. Every night since then, Oliver's been outside completely blattered, as KC might say. What does blattered- uh, It means he was drunk. Very drunk. He begged to be let in, and but what's the use of barring someone if you reverse it immediately? So he just stayed out there, shouting and screaming at everyone. It wasn't great for business, but like I said, he was a troubled soul. Had he been sleeping out there too? I... I don't think so. He's certainly never been around in the daytime. Why do you ask? His belongings were in bags outside his apartment, so it looks like he's been evicted from his residence. Might also explain why he was in front of the club this morning. Was he outside when you left the club this uh, la uh, last night? Not that I saw, but I lock everything from inside when, uh, and then leave from the back door, so I wouldn't have seen him if, uh, if he was there. Do you know where Roz is right now? On her way here. That detective of yours asked me to ring her in, or ring her, but it turns out she was on her way here anyway. How interesting. Any, et any ETA? Uh, Roz comes when she comes. She's kind of a free spirit. Okay. Uh, I don't think we had a chance to present this evidence to Fran yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do so. And it's actually going to give me a... Uh, Give me a moment to actually look back and since evidence too, because it's been a little while since I played. Hmm? Well, sorry, but if it isn't urgent, I've got a lot of stuff to be dealing with here. Okay. Let's see, this is all the stuff that was related to, like, well, Oliver and the stuff from the parade float. We're assuming the suspect's sneaker. There's a lot of these rainbow flags up. Is it pride season? Well, sure is. This month we take three to four times more than usual. So the float must have been for the parade. Yes, I assume so. Fran, may I please take one of the little flags? They're so colorful! Sure thing. I probably went a little overboard anyway. Thank you so much! I promise to take good care of it! Aww. Let's see... We found some smashed glass outside. If it's smashed glass you're looking for, I've got a load of the on the inside too, just behind you. No, it's Kerber just suggested it was part of a bottle. We were thinking about the Sambuca. Sambuca? We don't get many people drinking that here. Although, come to think of it, it was Oliver Ollie's drink of choice. So it could, it could have belonged to him? Well, he's been out there most nights this week, and he seemed pretty drunk, so it's definitely possible. 
We usually clean the outside area just before we open up, and there wasn't any glass yesterday, so it must have been from last night. Interesting. Okay. Fran, is this coat yours? Hmm? No, I think that's... Oh, oh my god, okay, that's that's more more than likely Roz Moses. The, I don't know what to do with these voices anymore, guys. They're probably gonna be all over the place, but What do you think you're doing with my coat, huh? No, I was just <laughs> cool your jets. I was just only pulling your leg. Well, I'll be. Sure did a number on the front, didn't they? You all okay, Fran? I'm fine, if a little shaken. When I found who did this, I'll make them wish they never left their mama's pouch. Oh, Anna, this is Rosmosis, the queen we were talking about. I knew it. I knew my ears were burning. Well, pleasure to meet you. Say, you look awful familiar. Well, I... I got it. I saw you in Celeb Life, right? I haven't missed an issue for ten years. Probably. I don't pay much attention to that stuff. Didn't you say it's love like it's garbage for people that don't have lives themselves? I, I Scout! What did that little rust bucket say to me? <laughs> anyway, uh, can I have a quick word? Scout still needs to learn to shush. <laughs> and he shouldn't be talking, buddy. Alright, so this is Roz. Oh, man. I, I'm just, I, I, I just kind of wish it was covered up a little bit more in the bottom, that's just me. Uh, really quick though, I, I want to talk to Fran just to make sure there's any other thing I can present to her. This is what Ryan left for me. Oh, so he's one of those men who apologizes with fancy gifts? Something like that. It doesn't work on me anymore though. Good for you, girl. It's important to know your worth. But, if you're not going to be hitting that, I don't suppose you give me his number. What? I've got bills to pay too, you know. Okay. I'll leave that one be. Let's talk to Roz. Well now, what can I do for you for? You work here, right? A couple of nights a week, yeah. Some nights I perform, some nights I host. But either way, it's full on Rosmosis. <laughs> full on is um <clears throat> apt. You mean the look? Oh, yeah, that's the point! One of our regulars once described my look as like a punch in the face personified. And he was one of the few that I hadn't actually punched. Honor, she scares me. D don't worry, Scout. She kind of scares me, too. How do you know the victim? What? Well, who's the victim? His name was Oliver Laurel. What? No! I hear you had a disagreement with him a few days ago? Well, it sure was a mess, yeah. To be honest, I didn't really know how it happened, but... What was it about? Ollie was... He was working a lot of stuff out, you know? A lot of people here are. In the beginning, at least. He came from a very strict background. Christian, Catholic, something that began with a C, but had a lot of repressed shame. So probably Catholic. Yeah, you know. His parents kicked him out, and then, well, he came here. I think he was looking for his tribe. How'd you, how did you end up in an argument? Well, he told me he liked drag queens. He thought he was gay, but there was something about drag queens tickled his pickle, I guess. That was more than you think. Then a few days back, he told me that he liked me. Like, liked me, liked me. I was flattered, of course, but well, I had to tell him that I'm not a dude, and that that's, that's when things went south. Wait, you're not... You're a woman? Anyway, that poor Ollie was even more confused. Actually, man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm confused. I'm sorry. So... So, wait, but they called... France said this is a drag queen. I'm... Okay. Okay, I'm probably being ignorant again, but I'm, I'm super confused right now. So forgive me if I say anything stupid. Anyway, that made poor Ollie even more confused. I took it the wrong way and thought he was turning me down, which made me see red, and I... I hit him. Fran thought he'd hit me, so she barred him. We have a very strict policy about any kind of violence or threatening behavior here. 
Well, from the customers, at least. I was gonna, I was gonna get him unbarred when I, when I had it all calmed down, but I didn't get a chance. Wait a minute. But Fran said that Roz mentioned that he, what, no, that. Yeah, wait, no, how, what the hell did Fran say? Fran mentioned that Roz wanted Oliver banned, and that's why. But now it's saying that Fran did it because supposedly he hurt. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I hope you don't mind, but I just like to make sure I have this totally straight. You're a drag queen, but you're a woman. Yeah, see, I... Okay. I have no idea that this even existed. I just... I straight up thought drag queens automatically meant that they were men. Dressed up in drag. I didn't know you could have female drag queens. I guess I should change my voice a little bit. Sure am. I I'm what's called a bio queen, which just means I came out my mama's hidey hope all the female equipment. Wow, I just assumed all drag queens were men. Wait, how did you end up doing this? I came to LA expecting to find my fortune in Hollywood. Of course, I was wet behind the ears then. Thought they'd actually be parts for someone that, that looks like me, didn't I? When the truth sunk in, I figured I'd get into comedy. That morphed into the performance, which became what you see now. I never really felt much at home with female gender stereotypes, so Roz is my way of taking, taking them to the extreme. Kind of giving you everything at once, you know. Do you get much work? Eh, most of the gay clubs don't hire me because I'm not a guy. Seems hyper femininity. Feminine. Femininity? I can't talk. It's just for the boys. Who'd have thought it, huh? Fran's been good to me, though. She knew I could entertain a crowd, and that's all that she cared about. Well, could you tell me about your whereabouts last night? Sure. I was working here about until 11.30 p.m., then I went straight home. Y did you see Oliver on your way out? Uh-huh. No, can't say I did. I don't know why. Why did you seem like you hesitated? Not really hesitated, but you stumbled in the hall there. Hmm. Only Fran mentioned that he was outside a club most nights recently, and obviously he was there when he... Oh, yeah, no, I saw him out there a couple times this week, but he wasn't out always there, you know. He'd come and go, but yeah, he, he wasn't there when I left last night. Okay, let's go ahead and present everything we have to Roz. Not sure to tell you about that, to be honest with you. Okay. Man, a lot of stuff doesn't do anything. I would have thought the tabloid, because they, they, she mentioned that she likes celeb life. We found his broken glass outside. Oh, well, probably from a beer bottle or something, right? People are always dropping stuff out there. <laughs> well, it smells like Sambuca to me. What are you, some kind of dog? Okay. I'm not sure all this is about. I didn't even see Oliver last night. You might want to reconsider that statement. Why is that, darling? Because I think you did see him. Oh, yeah? What makes you think that? Um. Well, definitely the coat, because it's hers. The Spanish doll doesn't really prove anything. Or the sneaker, but definitely the coat. The broken bottle. Wait, why do we say it's... the broken bottle is more so because of Oliver? Oh! Because it's Oliver. And the coat, because it's hers. We found this bottle smashed outside near the crash site. It's pretty clear it's a bottle of Sambuca. And? Well, we know that was Ollie's favorite drink. We also know that this coat is yours, and it's covered in Sambuca. Okay, I forgot about that. What are you trying to insinuate, huh? Why don't you come on and say it? Come on, Roz. No good can come out from hiding the truth. I... But I... Okay, fine. So maybe I did see Ollie last night. When I was leaving, he... He was out there. He came at me yelling about how he lost everything. His home, and now his friends too, and that's when he spilled the Sambuca on me. And I saw Red and, well, I might have swung my bag at him once, or twice, or... Now why didn't you tell us this earlier? Because it makes me look bad, and it's totally unrelated to that crash. Besides, you aren't even a police officer. No, she's not, but I am. What? I want to talk to you. Get a proper statement. 
And we'll do it at the station, given that you lied to us already. I don't trust you to tamper with evidence. But... Good work with that inconsistency, Honor. I help too! Listen, while I'm handling this, there's something else I want you to take a look at. Please don't tell me this is more busy work. Well, it's a puzzle. I wouldn't call that busy work. All right. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've done a puzzle, so... Let's see if I can do this quickly. I know I haven't even started yet, but... We got six, four... Oops. And one. So two left over, so we can at least be certain that these are utilized. And starting, once again, starting from the top here, or like any of the sides, the bottom, it gives us a good indication of where things can start, at least, you know? So that that's what I like focusing on, if I can, anyway. Uh, for example, like now we know that's the four. Uh, considering this is two, we know that's also going to be part of the four. We just don't know if it's going to be... Well, actually, we have one and one left over, right? So the only way that's going to work, that one and one left over, is, um... Well, it could end here. But it can't be... can't be this much. So... I say at least... Well, okay. Frankly, we, at least we know that's not going to be utilized. Let's hold off on more of this. Um... Because we know that's going to be part of the six. We know that's going to be part of the four. Um, I assume this would be part of the six on this row. Because it can't be the two. Because then we have no room for the six. Okay. Um, let's, focus on, let's focus on other things here. Uh, well, that's going to be the two there. Because it's a, it's gonna be, we know it's going to be part of the three. Uh... This has to be the four. The only way that works. Okay. So three and one. This will be a good, good amount left over. Let's use four, four, and four here. Okay. That's the only way that's going to work, so... Because that means four has to go right here. Ah... Uh, Let's see, that's in part of six. It has to be part of five. This is going to be part of the three, so that means that these aren't going to be used. Uh, let's also try to three, three, and one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything. Nope. Seven, one, and one. Four left over. Do that. I don't even know if it's like really a tactic or not, or what, what you even call it, but I like it. Oops. Uh, one, 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 one. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, here's something. Here we know these can't be connected because that'll make it a four and still need room for a three, so that's how that goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a two. At least we know it's going to be part of that. Uh, let's see if I can do more here. Like we know that this is going to be part of three. This will be part of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Part of three, part of three, part of three. Don't know which two. And part of two. Okay. Uh, it's something. I'll take it. Um, so this is going to be two, two, and one. We can't connect it here, so that means let's go like that. Which also means I can do that. No, which means I can do that. Uh, I think that's that there. This is going to be a 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can do that at least. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
There you go. I'll just do that. Uh, and if it's a three, four, and four on this column, and there's a thing here, that means that this has to be the four. So let's go ahead and connect these at least. Alright, that looks good. Uh, I think because we know it's going to be part of the four, I think we'd actually put one right here. So it's like we know for sh certain that's going to be filled in. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's taken care of. And we know it's going to be the three. Uh, we know what, we have a four in this column, so that's not going to be it. So we can do that. And you are a one. Which makes you a three. Oh, crap. Don't know if that's going to be a two or not. We'll hold off on that. But these... We'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go up from the bottom and top. Never mind, that's all I could have done. But that's okay. Which means that, well, this is a two, and. Uh, well, no, you have to be a three, because it's not going to go there. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's, it's all coming nicely together. I, I, I don't know. I, I just like it so much when the puzzles do seem to be. Aligning properly. It's like, thank you. Uh, let's see what else is plausible. Now that it seems like a lot, of this is kind of taken care of here anyway. There you go. That's actually going to be a three. Two and two, the only way that works. Um, the rest of these are going to be one, so I can do that. Without a problem. This is uh, four and two of this row. The thing is, the two is going to be in this side and four has to be on this side, so. We can do this at least. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I was going to say maybe I can connect these, which maybe I will have to, but there's still one in this column, so it's like I could go here. Or maybe that's the one. Can't be too certain just yet. Um, one and four. Well, four has to go here then, so I can do this. Okay. And seven, one, and one. And go somewhere here. I'd like to assume that this is a part of the one. Because then we have three threes, three ones left here, right? So we'll just say that's the ending of three. One, one. Okay. So that means that this cannot. Oops. That cannot be the three. Which means let's go here. Which also means that this and that. Actually, is that the whole, oh, whole column taken care of? Okay, good. And we don't want the rest of six. It's the one. So now we know the rest of this is six. I guess I should do that right now. One, two, three, four. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay. Which means that it has to be like that because the. I was going to say, it can't be connected because there has to be a one separate one. I uh, don't know. It's up here, over here. Same thing, maybe there could be a two here. I'm not entirely sure yet. More than likely it will be the case, but still. Um, let's see, I think... That looks... wait. Yeah, there's still into a room here. I think it's looking good. <laughs> I hope so. It's one of those instances where I'm getting scared that it's like, ah, oh, I'm forgetting or I'm missing something. Uh... Three, one, one, seven, nine, one. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. 
Ultimate Part 2. Two, and this how at least one of them is going to go here. And then, if this is all that's left over from this column, those have to be utilized, which means that this has to be the two. Okay. Bunch of ones, twos. Okay, this is going to be a three, huh? Well, one, 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 three. And the three is not going to fit here. So I think the only way this works, to my knowledge, anyway. Okay. And we got a bunch of ones and twos. Alright. Looking looking nice. That's if I just don't accidentally and click something I don't mean to. Don't know where the one goes goes in here just yet. Column's done. Do that. Finished. Finished. Column is done. There we go! Wasn't bad! Especially after like a week and a half of not playing this game, but ooh, an awards photo. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't even realize I was still on E. Well, now I'm on D. Still got a while to go. Wait, what? How on earth did you have this? You recognize it? This is a photo of the Miss Terry cast and crew at the Starshine Awards. The, the year that we won Best New Show. But... It looks like Blake's face has been circled. We found him in Frank Pritchell's, uh, Tully's apartment. I'm convinced that there was more to his death, so I've been investigating on the side. But that doesn't make any sense. KC took this photo. He used my camera. And when I got it developed, I gave it to Mom. That's the only copy. So, if Sharon had it, how did it end up in Frank's apartment? I guess the best place to get that answer is straight from the horse's mouth. Don't... Don't tell her I called her that, okay? I love the face on, uh, on her right now. A new mystery! Let's head back to your apartment! We could always just move somewhere else and never go back. How attached are you to that apartment anyway? Fine, fine. Let's go see Mom. Oh, this should be fun. Although, Casey, I'm a little... Yeah, hold on a minute. This whole thing about the camera, though, this photo, like, how did Frank get that picture? It's a little weird. Wow, so much drama, it's not even been day. You know, thanks for sticking up for me earlier, Casey. I hope you don't mind that I told you to stand down. I get it, but... You know, one day I hope you'll find you really let me off the leash with him. I've been storing up a lot of things I want to say to that slimy knuckle dragger. Trust me, I know the feeling. We'll get our chance someday. I just. I can't believe he had the audacity to rig the Starshine Wars just to get back at you. What a weapons grade wanker! Oh boy. Now, what's your take on all this? Do you think Roz did it? I mean. The girl's got more issues than variety. I like her, but I wouldn't want to go get on the wrong side of her. But I do think she'd drive a giant... But do I think she'd drive a giant pride parade float into someone? No. She's more reactive than that. She'd just punch them into a fine pate instead. Or pate, whatever. Pate? How refined. It's not refined. You're just American. Anyway, she's clearly a person of interest. She knew a lot of Ollie. Especially his recent mental state. Could be important. What are your plans now? You thinking of sticking around? Yeah, I want to see if there's anything I can do to help Fran. Sorting all this out is going to be quite the ball ache. I'm still feeling guilty for not being around as much anyway, so... This feels like a good opportunity to make amends. 
Okay, uh, I don't know if it really means anything if I give him anything to present, but might as well. Why are you showing me that, babe? I just want to be sure, because I forgot. I guess not. Do you don't want any of this? Ryan bought me this laptop. He wants me to join Black Sock Holdings. What the hell? You work for him. You're not. You can't possibly be thinking of. I mean, I haven't seen you this lost to work since we saw a uh, Betty Midler <laughs> in life at the drugstore. Ah, uh, wait, is it Bet Midler or Betty Midler? I thought it was just Bet Midler actually. Oh, it's been ages since I've seen her. Or anybody actually talked about her, but still. Wait, Betty Midler. I think it's Bet Midler. Ah, oh, screw it. She's an icon, a deity. Why doesn't she have someone to do that for her? Never mind that. You know what he's doing, don't you? He wants to ri he wants to wriggle back in. He uses weird Jedi mind tricks on you. Calm down, Casey. I'm not going to take it. Oh, oh thank God. Don't scare me like that. Oh, I took this picture, didn't I? Indeed you did. It feels a whole lifetime ago, doesn't it? What's got you all sentimental, huh? Well, Detective Cross gave it to me. Said they said said they found it in Frank Pritchell's apartment. Frank Pritchell? Who's that? Remember? The guy who pretended to be the handyman? Tully? Oh, yeah. But, wait. Why did he have it? Well, that's what I'm going to find out. I have a bad feeling regarding this awards photo. And Blake's face has been circled. Uh, okay. 1993. So that means that the, by the time of this... Well, 96 <laughs> of this game, Mur Murder Mystery was going on for, what, three seasons? <laughs> I think they mentioned that, too, and I just totally forgot. Okay. Uh, is that it? I guess so. Really quick, I just don't see if there's anything at the entrance. Well, I guess not. I, I mean, I'm getting a little up there in terms of time, but let me just quickly go to our apartment. Maybe there's an extra puzzle we can do here. Calm down, have we? Mom. Okay, actually, no, there is no puzzle here. Well, fine, we'll just we'll go ahead and talk to her, because it's been a while since I played this game. A little bit of a longer video, which I don't mind. Well, are you ready to be civil? I really need to get that key back from you. Over my dead body? Don't tempt me. Wow, okay. Well, what was so urgent you had to come down to the club and talk to me? You know exactly what it is. You're doing this detective stuff again? I'm good at it. You know that Scout and I worked on worked out who killed Dick Stanford. I didn't say you wouldn't be good at it. If anything, that's what I'm worried about. Look, you said your piece, Mom. You're scared. I get it. I don't take pleasure in causing your you stress, despite what you might think. But I can't I can't hold myself back because of you. I'm good at this. I enjoy it. Even Detective Cross has come around. But what if you die? And what's the point of being so scared of dying that you don't ever live? Oh, how very poetic. Uh, poetic. What did I even, What was I trying to say there? Poetic. That doesn't change anything. Was there anything else, or was that it? Don't think this is over, Anna. I can't let you make the same mistakes your father did. God knows he had his faults, but... I think the answer to my question was, no, there's nothing else. And quickly, we're going to show her everything. The, one, the thing we obviously want to show her is the awards photo, but let's just give her everything, see what she has to say. What are you carrying around that for? You imagine she just has a big ass bag of all this stuff in it. All right, so definitely, I figured she wasn't gonna say anything about these, but I'm curious about the laptop because it's Ryan gave to, Ryan gave to us, and also the awards photo, definitely. Oh no, okay, then just the awards photo. Hmm, what are you showing me that for, Mom? Don't you remember? This is a photo I gave you. 
from when we won our Starshine last year. Last year? That was 93. But this game was 96. That would never... I'm not... Uh, nope. I'm not going to think too much about it. I remember. But why do you have it? Well, the real question, Mom, is why, why you don't have it. I gave you this photo for a reason. Because I thought it might finally make you proud to see me successful. Should have realized I was trying to get the... I was trying to get blood out of a stone. Oh, Anna, stop being so dramatic. Just because I don't agree with most of your decisions doesn't mean I'm not proud of you. I always have been. You, you are? Wait, wait, I definitely want to talk more about this, but I need to know how this photo ended up where it did. This one? I think I gave it to Ryan. You what? Oh, don't start all that again. It was during a divorce. I... I met with him, hoping you two could sort everything out. I showed him the photo to remind him how happy you could be. You could be, actually. I wanted him to try... He asked if he could have it, and... Well, I thought it might help. Why not? So if Ryan had his photo, how did it end up at Frank's? Uh-oh. That's not good. Honor, I think I have made a connection! Hmm. Ah, uh, what? Ryan hired Frank to seduce Blake. Wow. No, no, I and I don't think he hired Frank to kill. I, Ryan's a douche, but I don't think that much of a douche. I think it was initially to blackmail um, Blake. Ryan hired Frank to blackmail Blake! What makes you think that, Scout? into the police fingerprint files, they show that Frank worked for a private security firm called Leith Security. Blake has been circled in a photo. Given your mother's testimony, it doesn't make sense why she would have done so before handing it to Ryan. Therefore, we can assume that Ryan wanted to target Blake for something and went to Leith in order to do so. Doing his own dirty work was, was never something Ryan was interested in. But why? Why would he hire someone to blackmail Blake? Good question. Here's my theory. Uh, don't think he's squeezing for money. Don't think it was to take over his job. But remember, one of those conditions was get rid of Adar Mizrahi or else these photos go out. Because he wanted to get you fired! Remember the Polaroids we found in Blake's office? They proved that someone tried to get you fired! That bastard! You said that Ryan was very controlling. This could have been his attempt to continue controlling you, even after your divorce. I think it's time to set a little trap for my ex-husband. Oh boy. Hey Ryan, I thought about your offer and... Well, there's just one thing I want to check with you before I accept. Could you come by the club again at 2pm? Great. See you then. Now to call Detective Cross. Detective, it's Honor. Can you get back to Magellan's? What? She's not! Okay, we'll start looking for more evidence until you get back. Honor! Why? Why? Oh, why, why, my God, I can't even talk. Honor! Why won't you wait for me? Sorry, Scout. By the way, I just spoke to Detective Cross. Looks like Roz has an alibi. So it wasn't her? Nope. So we need to get looking again. Oh, well, you just look stupidly suspicious. Oops, sorry, didn't see you there. Oh, um... I, didn't, I don't think they're gonna be... It. Wait, I don't think they're gonna be open today, to be honest. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. I'm helping out with the investigation. Is that so? Hmm. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Dude, yeah. Well, you you are just completely suspicious already. Uh, like, why do you have a bandage on your nose? Did you hit something by chance? Hmm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually going to be it for today's episode. And next time, we will continue this investigation and see what the hell this guy is. 
and take things from there. I, I would love to see what trap we're going to set for Ryan, because it's just going to feel good. At least I hope so. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Murder by Numbers. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.